Hi, my name is Summer. I'm with Goodnight Geckos. This is Pinto Bean, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up juvenile enclosures for Peridora pictas. So here is my current setup for my Peridora pictus. Now the female doesn't have any fake plants in her enclosure because she kept pooping on it. So what we are going to do now is what I am using today for substrate is going to be the riverbed sand from Exoterra. What I'm gonna do is also add some fake plants in there that I got from the pet store as well. But before anything, we are going to take these guys out. So she's gonna be under here. I did get them from Supreme Gecko. I highly recommend them. If you want to buy some Peridora Pictas, they aren't tame right now. You can see her. She's really pretty. These are like juveniles, so these aren't full grown. The male is actually smaller than her. So we're gonna put her in there. And then he's the crazy one. He's very rambunctious, so um, he likes to jump everywhere. Oh, oh my goodness. He's kind of crazy. Oh God. Let's see if he'll, oh God. He, he's really crazy. I'm trying to tame him, but you know, I also don't want to stress him out. So, all right, we're gonna put him in here. Go in there, little buddy. Just want to make sure you don't get their tail. So, these I was using water bottle caps for their water. And little coconuts cut in half. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the substrate up. Um, about an inch and then where her hide is going to be or where their hide is going to be I'm going to have it a little deeper than that and I hope they thrive better. I hope they're happier in the setup than you know the paper towels. Just a basic setup for the time being until they get older. Pretty sure this is going to be enough sand. It should be. Oh yeah. That's nice. I'll put her hide back here. Oh yeah, that's good enough. And then we're gonna do this, put her hide right here. And then food bowl. And then we're going to do a little water bowl. I like stick it down in there. And get some water.
I'll probably go ahead and put some water around her hide so it's all hydrated, humid, a little humid for her. And then I have some bugs that I actually have to dust first. So here's my, here's my container that I use to like shake my bugs around and dust them in. So I'll go get a couple of those out. Last thing I'm going to do is add this fake plant. I don't know if I should just like lay it in there or just stick it to the side. Because they're like, you know, terrestrial animals. Maybe I should like stick it to the side, <laughs> but like very low. And then kind of like spread it out maybe. And there we have it. So hers is done. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put her in there and see what she thinks about it. Oh, she's so pretty, you guys. Look at her. Gorgeous. Come on, girl. I know, you're scared. It's okay. There you go. What do you think? What do you think about that, huh? Yeah. Do you like it? Do you like it? Huh? It's good, ain't it? All right. So hers is done. Now we're going to do the male's enclosure. I don't have names for them. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions, comment in the comment section below. Don't be escaping. She's scared, you guys. They just gotta get used to me, which is, it'll be fine. I think she'll be happier. They'll bo both be happier with sand, you know. So I think I put way too much in there, but it's okay. It's not gonna hurt nothing. They love these coconut hides, by the way. I'll probably also add some mealworms as well later on. Kind of like burying these water dishes a little bit. You know, so they're kind of like secured in there. My fiance said, those food bowls are way too big. Yeah, but they look nice. And they eat out of them just fine. So that's why I like them because they look, they look nice and the bugs aren't going to be able to get out of them. So. Now we're going to add our fake plants. She's finding her hide right now. She's so cute. I really don't like using paper towels. 
you know, because when they poop, it just kind of stinks real bad. And you have to change them out, like, every day. <laughs> or it gets, like, really gross. But here's the setup. Let me know what you all think what you all would do differently but honestly there's not a lot of videos out there you know for Paradora Pictas or aka the Pictas Geckos um, so I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys of what I like my journey is with these guys because they are new to me I, I usually just keep crested geckos, but these guys are pretty cool. And once they start, like, to settle in and stuff, and they, they'll become more, more personable, I think, and more tame. So, we're going to get this crazy guy out. He has, like, a very outgoing personality. He's super outgoing. A beautiful stripe down his back and he always holds his tail up which I think is like really cute come on you got it what do you think what do you think dude what do you think about your new home Wow <laughs> see they'll definitely feel more secure in this setup. I'm super happy about it. I'm just stoked. I, I feel like they're going to do a lot better than what they were in before. They have more coverage. You know, they like the sand and it's something familiar with them because I'm pretty sure Wally at Supreme Gecko keeps them on sand if I'm not mistaken so I think they are going to thrive and I'm super excited about that and honestly this looks so much better than paper towels honestly like nobody can disagree <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed watching the video let me know if you learned something um, but I will definitely see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all learned something today. Um, I do hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.